I am Major Ole Riu Catalin, a Civil Protection Officer at the Emergency Situation Inspectorate of Yash County. As the head of the CEE project, I will present the history, role and implementation of civil protection measures in Romania at county level, focusing on the educational system. The beginning of civil protection in Romania is the Royal Decree number 468 from February 28, 1933, signed by King Charles II of Romania, document which approved the regulation of passive defense against airstrikes as a necessity to protect the civilians after the First World War. The day when we celebrate the civil protection in Romania is February the 28th, an important event in the institutional transformation of civil protection was when the Civil Protection Commandment merged with the military firefighters in 2004. Thus was founded the National General Inspectorate for Emergency Situations. Since December 2004, in Romania, there is a new mechanism for emergency management which operates in accordance with the standards set by EU. This was the moment when Romania organized the national system for emergency situation management. The heraldic insignia of the General Inspectorate for Emergency Situations is an eagle which has in its right claw a silver sword and in the left one a green olive branch. The significance of some elements is the helmet and the axe are taken from the military firefighters insignia used during the second half of the 19th century. The exploding grenade, reminiscent of the firefighters' participation in the Romanian independence war. The red color suggests the firefighters' shield. The civil protection is a component of the national security system and represents an integrated system of specific activities measures and organizational, logistic and operational tasks with a humanitarian and informative character. The civil protection activity is of a national interest and it has a permanent nature which relies on carrying out the obligations undertaken by the central and the local public authorities and administrations and by the civil society as well. The currently operating structure in Romanian civil protection is the Inspectorate for Emergency Situations. The Romanian government adopted the Emergency Ordinance No. 21 from 2004, which has established the national system of management of emergency situations. The national management system of emergency situations works to present and manage emergency situations providing and coordinating the human, material, financial and other resources necessary to restore the normal state. The main civil protection tasks are the identification and management of the existing types of risk in Romania, the management of all the data regarding the civil protection, the information and preventive training of the population, the notification of the public authorities and the warning of the population in case of emergency situations, the protection of people, goods, cultural values and of the environment, ensuring minimal conditions for survival of the population in emergency situations, limiting and removing the effects of disasters of an air attack during an armed conflict, the participation in international specific missions, the civil protection activity in Romania is coordinated by the Prime Minister, who leads this activity through the Minister of Internal Affairs as the Chairman of the National Committee for Emergency Situations. At the local level, the civil protection activity is coordinated by the Emergency Committee Chairman, constituted according to law. The municipalities, the cities and the public institutions, the economic agents and all the schools are included in a civil protection classification. In each school, there is a teacher who is responsible with the implementation of all the civil protection measures, informing and educating the public on preventive civil protection, 
is mandatory and is provided by all the educational institutions, by the media, and by the professional services for emergency situations. Between the Ministry of National Education and the Ministry of Internal Affairs, there is a protocol that sets all the civil protection activities for kindergarten, primary and secondary schools, high schools and universities. All these institutions have to teach their students some knowledge about the risks that they are exposed to and what they should do in case these risks occur. All the schools have to organize periodical drills in case of fires, earthquakes or any other emergency situations. The purpose of this program is to increase the efficiency of emergency situations management in schools and to conduct preventive campaigns, projects and competitions supervised by the Inspectorate for Emergency Situations. Some of these activities are limiting the number of victims among students in a disaster, promoting volunteer activities, sending to the schools a guide on how to prepare for emergencies, organizing joint activities, conferences, seminars, drills, visits, etc. on the occasion of some important dates and events such as the Civil Protection Day, the Firefighters Day, the International Day for Natural Disaster Reduction, etc. Developing the theoretical activities in schools, organizing and conducting the drills in case of emergencies in schools, simulating the activities in case of a natural disaster, organizing schools contests with civil protection themes such as I defend life with my life or the friends of the firefighters. The civil protection training in schools at different levels of education is organized on different topics. 13 topics for kindergarten, 18 topics for primary education, 23 topics for secondary education, 22 topics for high schools, and 10 topics for universities. For example, some of these topics might be at kindergarten level, familiarizing the children with the positive and negative effects of the fire. At primary education level, what are the consequences of a fire? At secondary education level, preventing fires. At high school level, how to put out fires. At universities, the impact of a fire on the environment. In all activities, we encourage and motivate the participation of students with special needs. As part of the SEE project, the Technical College of Transports and Constructions, together with the Inspectorate for Emergency Situations of Yash County, organized disasters, awareness campaigns for students, focused on procedures and rules to be respected, through flash mobs, in several malls, on the streets, engaging the participation of as many students as possible. Finally, we prevent, we protect and we rescue.